If you guys would like to get yourself some official SimC merchandise, check out my Spreadshirt link in the description below for t-shirts, hoodies, mugs and cups. If you do make a purchase, send me a photo on Twitter and I will retweet it. But regardless, let's get stuck into the video. Hey guys, my name is Simpsy. How are you all doing? Welcome back to some more FIFA 18 Manchester United career mode. This is Season 3, Episode 3. In today's episode, we have two matches. The first of which is against Arsenal, the Gunners. We're going to be facing them at the Emirates. And then we face Crystal Palace. So guys, if you still are enjoying this Manchester United career mode and would like to see more, the best way to ensure more content is leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here and let me know in the comment section down below uh, transfers future transfers people you'd like me to to bring in and of course once this season has ended what you would like me to replace it with season four of the united career mode maybe some more real madrid or would you like me to start a brand new career series let me know in the comment section down below we also have the january transfer window where we managed to sign renato sanchez and there's going to be a lot more comings and going so arsenal are playing <laughs> lacazette up front right townsend and markovic what a disgrace arsenal just is uh, if, if arsenal now played townsend and markovic they'll be the biggest joke in the premier league well they well, they already are I kid, I kid. I love ripping into Arsenal fans because they're the most vocal and just angry. <laughs> Kane finds Romelu Lukaku. Oh, come on, Lukaku. Straight over the bar. Lacazette on the break. Oh, no, no, no. Townsend is offside, but nearly makes me out to be a fool. Who the hell is that in the midfield? There's got like three players I don't even recognise. Pogba with the interception. Harry Kane and Lukaku on the counter-attack. Romelu Lukaku. Oh, Spina in goal as well. No Peter Cech. Kane. Some nice intricate passing here. Romelu Lukaku puts his laces through it. We've gone with the two flat track bullies. The two big target men. Griezmann of the cam, but Romelu Lukaku starts off the scoring just before the 22nd. He loves scoring at the Emirates. He scored heaps of goals for Everton and West Brom when he was out on loan there. Two goals in the uh, the Premier League this season. Come on. Lacazette drills it across the deck to Pav. Oh, just wide. Anthony Martial on the ball. He came from France. The English press said he had no chance. Harry Kane with the back heel. Griezmann. Yikes. Right, it's time to make some substitutions. If you haven't gone to see the last episode, guys, highly recommend it. We did have a, a decent 3-0 victory over Chelsea, but we had an embarrassing loss to Liverpool 3-1. We started off the season so well with uh, that first episode with six goals apiece. Okay, Shinji, Rashford... And Messi, oh my god, Pogba dancing into the Emirates defence. Oh my god, Rashford commits his body from the Pogba corner kick, but it wasn't to be. Oh, here we go, Pogs! Yes! Pogba breaking away with pace, carving up the Arsenal defence. Too easy, Pogba and Messi with the hotline bling. We're 2-0 up away at the Emirates just before the 53rd. What a nice run here from Pogba. Just at, look at look at those strides. Holy shit. He covered so much ground and I just have a feeling that Arsenal will collapse here today wholly and solely due to a Spina. Pogs. Rashford. Back to Harry Kane. He's holding up the ball well. The former Arsenal Academy man. Shinji Kagawa intercepts. Feeds it to Rashford. Shinji Kagawa getting up on the assist sheet once again. It's 3-0 before the 64th. The Arsenal defence are capitulating, to say the least. But never fear, Shinji Kagawa is here. He's been my favourite player this season. He's been so good. Kagawa again beats one. Shinji Kagawa! Oh, nearly breaks through Chambers there. But that's it. She's all over Red Rover. The full-time whistle has blown. We've claimed an emphatic 3-0 victory over Arsenal here today. The Gunners, their defence capitulated. And Ospina couldn't save shit on a stick. Harry Kane up there. Uh, Pog's got a 9.5. Okay. So we've got some transfer negotiations here now. And then we'll face the last match of the season against Roy Hodgson's... Roy Hodgson... Shouldn't... <laughs> 
<laughs> Fuck me. Roy's Crystal Palace. Uh, and then we have the Champions League final in Season 3, Episode 4 in the next one. So we're currently receiving an offer here for Leno, who we picked up for free. Atletico Madrid are offering £47 million. I'm more than happy to let him go, as we've already got David De Gea, our first choice. There's no way in hell we're going to be selling him, so we want to try and keep him on as much as possible. Victor Lindelof. Oh, no, Leno's transfer negotiation broke down. No. I have got Lindelof on the loan list simply because we've already got Samuel Umtiti. He really, I love Lindelof in real life. He's going to be an amazing player, but just on FIFA, like his overall and growth is just so slow, you know. So we've got Samuel Umtiti, we've got Stefan de Frey, we've got Jose Jimenez, which have bigger ceilings. Eric Bailly, un, uh, unfortunately, but it looks like Red Bull, looks like Leno will be going back to Germany potentially to Red Bull Leipzig. We've accepted, a, we've got a couple of offers here. For Christian Pulisic, a huge part of my plans, the American, but he just needs game time. Along with Ross Barkley, I haven't really seemed to fit him into the squad, but we managed to receive £40 million for Leno. He's going to Red Bull Leipzig, and now this is a very, very funny development, if I do say so myself. Now, if you guys can remember, last season I bought in Griezmann for roughly around about, was it 40, 50 million pounds plus Belotti. Okay, right? He was going to be their Diego Costa replacement. Now, Atletico has let Belotti's contract run down to a year, so we're going to be picking up Belotti practically for free when we spent 60 million pounds on him roughly for Torino. So we've spent that 60 million pounds on him. Then we traded him. So we managed to get, get this right, Griezmann and Belotti for about 100 million pounds. That is just crazy when both of those players could be well over 200,000. I tried to go for Adnan Yanazai because I love bringing old former players back to Old Trafford and hopefully try and fulfill their forgotten dreams <laughs> at the theatre you could say, but unfortunately he has left Real Sociedad to join to join Zenit quite recently. So I went for the next best youngster in Renato Sanchez, 22 years of age, had a failed loan at Swansea. He is now back at Bayern Munich. Bayern Munich. We're going to be signing a five-year deal. He's on 145k a week, which is absolutely fine with me. It's not even that much. Renato Sanchez is an amazing player on FIFA, and I'd love to have him at the club. Um, at, least, at least he's got a game face <laughs> this FIFA around. He's probably going to be the replacement for Kante. He could very well play the Pogba role in a couple of seasons to come. You're most welcome to pause and have a look at some of the player's stats if you're curious. But Renato Sanchez has signed. We managed to get him for a cut three, a cut um, fee roughly around about £22 million, which is, is quite good. Real Madrid back at it again, trying to get the services of David De Gea, launching an £81 million bid. No way, Jose. Bernard managed to receive a loan offer from Hellas Verona in Italy, and I'm going to accept it because he needs game time as well. Uh, Paco, Paco Alcacer, I think I say you say it, has left Barcelona, the target man, to join Everton. Going through the top transfers now, nothing really big apart from Paco Christensen joining Liverpool. That's interesting. The former Chelsea man, the Great Dane, the Viking, the descendant of Ragnar Luthbrook, managed to leave Chelsea, move to Inter Milan, and then go back to Liverpool. Okay, PSG, Paris Saint-Germain, has launched a £34 million bid for the services of Alexis Sanchez. He's been all right the last couple of seasons. Can't really break into the first team as we've... Got a really strong one, sort of in and out. Julian Weigel, 24 years of age, 83 overall. Man, the future is going to be strong for midfielders at Old Trafford. We're going to have Weigel in the future. We're going to have Renato Sanchez, maybe Christian Pulisic on the left and right. And oh my God, what a huge transfer going off here. What? Oh, and Insigne has joined Chelsea. What? And some other guy, I don't really know how to say his name. So... Oh my god, this is so funny, especially when I was ripping into Arsenal fans before. Lacazette has left Arsenal to join Barcelona, that well-trodden path. Obviously, the famous Arsenal greats, Thomas, Lam Thomas Vermaelen. <laughs> I'm also thinking of Thierry Henry leaving Arsenal to join Barca. 
which is it's kind of ironic because they're both French as well, which is it's an interesting sort of fact there. So after that humiliating three nil defeat under the hands of me at the Emirates, Lacazette's like, you know what? Fuck this Arsenal project. We're currently sitting in thirteenth now. I'm done and dusted. I'm going to be going hanging out in the sunny sunny Spain. So Everton is currently sitting in third. This is the last match of the season. And I forgot to mention at the start of the video, we're going to be playing a youth team in this episode for the last match of the season. Rashford, Balotelli, Kagawa, Gomez, Weigl, Sanchez, uh, Willian. We've got two and Zabi, Lindelof. We're going to keep David De Gea in goal. We'll bring on um, Scott McTominay as well. And we've got Fosu Mensa. This is just called my youth team, but it's also made up of players that haven't had much game time this season. I want to try and give, give it to them. So we're going to be facing Roy's Crystal Palace here today at Selhurst Park away. We have won the Premier League mathematically. So regardless of the result, we have won, and then we're going to be facing, uh, we're going to have the Champions League final in the next episode. I won't say who against, you're just going to have to wait and stay tuned for that match. So, who are Crystal Palace playing? Tammy Abraham's up front. Halilovic, what? A five at the back? Hold, 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 hold oh wait, how do you say his name? Hodet, Hodet, the um, Lazio man, Tompkins, Sarko. Where's the... Oh, okay. So they got Halilovic, the Croatian Barcelona man, potentially the next Rakitic or, or Modric. Tammy Abraham's up front, though. That's interesting, you see. A fascinating Crystal Palace squad. I love when teams invest. Alexander finds Tammy Abrahams. He's put it well into the crowd. Abrahams back on the attack, determined to start things off for Crystal Palace. Feeds it wide to the Croat on the left. Halilovic whips it into the box, but David De Gea... Cool, calm, and collected at full stretch. Julian Weigl in the midfield lashes at it, but Mikhailovic manages to deflect it. Shinji Kagawa finds Marcus Rashford breaking away, and Spironi saves. Shinji to Rashford. Marcus Rashford finds Mario Balotelli. Mario Balotelli beats the defence, beats Mihailovic. Balotelli's away, and he's done it. It's 1-0 away down in London. We're facing the two London sides here today. Just before the 38th, Mario Balotelli breaking away. He's done absolutely everything I've asked, Super Mario. He's calmed down since returning to England and in Manchester. I've put my arm around him, and he's absolutely on fire. Rashford pops it over the top to Gomez. Nani is his gra uh, godfather, so that's an interesting fact there. There's like this um, sort of Portuguese... Oh my god, Weigl there. Just back on to Gomez for a second. Yeah, interesting fact. Nani, the former Manchester United winger, is actually his godfather. There's sort of this like cool... I don't know. Community down in London, which are Portuguese. That's how they know each other. So let's bring on Scott McTominay. We'll bring on Paul Pogba trying to kill it off. Maybe create some things for Weigl, Sanchez, and a couple of the youngsters. Maybe even Gomez. Sanchez finds Weigl. Scott McTominay. Oh my god, couldn't get it past. But that's it. The full-time whistle has blown. We have scraped a 1-0 victory here today against Crystal Palace with my youth team, my second team, the, t the players that didn't really get much game time this season. I want to be doing that a, a lot more, giving my second team a bit more of a, a run into the squad. I would have loved to have seen a lot more goals, but they played well, especially playing like my B team in the Premier League against Crystal Palace away. They've got a lot of decent youngsters raring and fighting to go. And on top of that, um, yeah, that 3-0 victory over Arsenal. Stay tuned for episode 4 of season 3 of the Manchester United career. We're going to be pacing the Champions League final, and then we're going to be running through the stats. Unfortunately, guys, it is time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know in the comment section down below, players, you would like me to sign. If you're not enjoying the series, feel free to leave a dislike. Let me know in the comments, players, you would like me to sign, of course, and other career modes you want me to do. Stay tuned for more FIFA 18 content on the channel. Check out my social media links if you want to stay connected with me. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all in the description below. Highly recommend Twitter. Every single time I post a video, a tweet goes out. 
it's much more reliable than the YouTube sub box these days to get all the notifications for the channel. You have to click subscribe, of course, and the bell to join the notification squad. I do enjoy reading those comments. If you guys want to get yourself some cheap and reliable games, maybe some PSN and Xbox codes to buy packs for Ultimate Team, or maybe just some games, I really do recommend checking out my affiliation link, G2A. There's some really good prices, so even just going looking around, to be honest. Anyway, uh, uh, Patreon, Stinger there as well. Come and join the community on Steam. My name has been CMC. Stay tuned for more videos on the channel. Make sure to take care of yourselves. Have a fantastic rest of your day. My name has been Simpsy. Goodbye. Mares whips it into the box. Royce! That is just ridiculous. With the layup, Marco Royce.